Hey there, I wanted to jump in here and get you some massive clarity today. Have you ever wondered why you take fiber or laxatives, anti-diarrheals, and your poops are still angry, even when your doctor said that these tools would actually help fix your bowels? Have you ever wondered why you're taking probiotics or enzymes and your stomach still seems so angry? <laughs> or maybe even the fact that you're taking out all these foods, you're following restrictive diets like low FODMAP or elimination diets, and yet your stomach is still reacting to more and more foods and really all that's happening is you're running out of foods to eat. It becomes really frustrating because quite frankly, when I was going through this, what I found is I'd eat something one day and feel totally fine and then eat it the next day and my God, I felt like I was nine months pregnant. And so this really started to beg the question, well, why is this happening? And this is exactly the approach that I want you to take when you are trying to troubleshoot your symptoms. We have to answer the question, why? because otherwise we're just chasing symptoms and you might even find that you're stuck managing your symptoms. And this is exactly why your symptoms aren't actually getting better because you're not addressing the why, the root causative factor, the reason why all these symptoms are happening. When we hit that thing, that's when your symptoms are actually going to change. So today I wanted to walk you through the very first step we walk all our clients through. This is the number one thing that gets people held up. They get stuck. They actually, what we find is individuals who are struggling with gas, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, acid reflux, or any sort of pain, there's one common thing that's going on that is broken in the foundation of their body. And typically there are some sort of infection going on in the body but if we don't hit this first foundational step then you can try to kill the bad bacteria that are taking over your gut but your body's not going to be able to flush them out so I'm going to walk you through that first step today the very first thing that we do with all of our clients is get their drainage pathways open. I want you to write that down. You need to open your drainage pathways. Now, what in the hell is a drainage pathway? <laughs> I want you to imagine it like your body has this pipeline. We've got this pipeline that we actually send toxins through to be eliminated out of the body. And one of the problems that happens for individuals that have gut issues, especially things like SIBO or parasitic infection, so if you're constipated, um, if you've got really persistent bloating, this is one of the things that is broken. Your pipeline is likely clogged. Now I want you to imagine this, if your pipes were clogged in your home, what would happen is you've had this flooding, all this water would start overflowing. It's the same thing inside your body. If your pipes are clogged and you can't send toxins and bad bacteria out of the body to be eliminated, guess what's gonna happen? Your toxic load is going to go through the roof and you're going to start to experience symptoms getting even louder. So you might've started to, to develop brain fog, fatigue, memory issues, irritability, headaches, even skin issues like acne, rosacea, eczema, psoriasis, even itchy skin like itchy eyes, nose, ears, and bum. These are all signs that those drainage pathways are clogged or working at half mast and making it really difficult for your body to flush out these dangerous invaders. So, Let's talk about what are, again, drainage pathways in the body. The very first thing are your bowels. And many of you are struggling with your bowels if you are not pooping two to three times per day. If you are not eliminating elbow to wrist in quantity every single day, whether you are on the loose end with diarrhea or on the pellet poop end of the spectrum with constipation, if you're not eliminating that quantity, then that drainage pathway is clogged. Now we have several other drainage pathways in the body. Your bowels are just your first one. The next one is liver. And then we move into your bile flow. So your liver is responsible for removing toxins and filtering them from the body. It also helps with digestion. Uh, there's over 500 different functions that your liver does for your body. Now your bile movement is one of those gut scrubbers. It helps to move toxins out of the body, break down fats as well. And this is where we see people getting stuck and end up having sludgy bile movement or gallstones developing. And you may have even had your gall bladder removed. This is a sign that your liver and bile, uh, bile flow drainage pathway are clogged, right? 
Okay, next up, we've got our lymphatic system. We've got to get the lymphatic system moving, especially if you find that you have cellulite. If you have lumps and bumps throughout your body, whether painful or not, it's a sign that there's lack of circulation. If you have a swelling happening in the lymph nodes in the neck and underneath the jawbone, if you have bags or dark circles under the eyes, these are all signs the lymphatic system is sluggish. Next up, we move into organs and tissues. So we might be talking about your, um, your lungs. We might be talking about your skin. We might be talking about your kidneys or your brain. So if you're struggling with the skin issues, you're struggling with frequent urination, or even if you have um, chronic urinary tract infections, struggle to breathe, have this constant cough, or even if you find yourself frequently getting sick, and then of course the classic brain fog, fatigue, memory issues, irritability and headaches. This is a sign that your organs and tissue drainage pathway are clogged up. And then last but not least are your cells. So once we move through bowels, liver, bile movement, lymphatic system, organs and tissues, and then we get to the cells, which is the top of your funnel, this is where we start to see people on the cellular level, those cells are exhausted, they're backlogged. And so your cells have mitochondria in them and these are responsible for energy production. And so this is going to be where if you're feeling exhausted, really foggy, like you could take naps, you just have zero energy bandwidth for people, places and things outside of your regular routine. And maybe even your regular routine um, might be just too much for your body and you feel like you could just take a nap, stop, drop and roll at any point in the day. Um, this is a sign that those cells need support. And this is where we start to see even low, uh, slow healing in the body. So if you find cuts and bruises take a while to heal, or you're struggling to really get your gut going, this might be a sign that your cells drainage pathway are clogged up. So first step is we have to get your drainage pathways moving. Remember, if your pipes, pipes are clogged, you can't go and kill any sort of infection or bad bacteria that is causing your gut issues because your body won't be able to eliminate them. So we start with the foundations protocol and what you can expect in just 30 days is an increase of energy, you can also find your poops improve, gas and pain also reduce, and we see the most improvement in bloating in those first 30 days when we get your drainage pathways opened. So drainage pathways are the first step that you wanna be working on. And if you've got questions, then I want you to hit reply, reach out to us and let us know what symptoms you're struggling with, all the things that you've tried, and we're gonna get you some support from there. All right, we'll chat real soon, bye.